Tom was born smiling. Tom was just a ray of sunshine. He was such a happy little boy, very intelligent, very caring, very compassionate. He was a prefect at school, he was head of house, he was rugby captain. I mean, he was six foot five. He was known as Tom the Tank. The reason he was in New Zealand was because he wanted to see the All Blacks play. We thought Commonwealth country, ergo safe place. And he was offered uh, some casual work on an orchard. And he took the bus down to Katikati Kati to work on the orchard and he died on his first day. Don't like pine forests anymore. He really liked working in the forestry, the comradeship. He'd be gone by five o'clock in the morning. Sometimes he wouldn't get home till six o'clock at night. And quite often he'd do that six days a week. The owners put pressure on the contractor. The contractor puts pressure on the workers. You've got to get so many trucks out a week. He had started um, falling a tree that was rotten. He moved to another tree to actually fall that tree on top of the rotten one. When he had his back turned to the tree, it just let go and came down. This, this whole area is just sadness. There's a father you're supposed to protect your children. Joseph was killed on his very first day at work. Now these are, 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 are builders, these are labourers and sparkies that you see fixing a deck on a house. You're talking about a bloke with a ute. These are not miners. They know nothing about methane, nothing about gases. They played Russian roulette with every person that went into that mine. The bike tipped into a hidden ditch and flipped into a shelter belt. Tom would not have understood the risks attached to a quad bike. It took them six years following a fatality for anybody to even visit and follow up. In this country, there would have been a prosecution. It's a sort of, oh, she'll be right attitude. You're eight times more likely to die in the workplace in New Zealand than you are in the UK. How is that right? He should have come home with his camera and his stories, and actually he didn't. He came home in a coffin. The report that's come out of the investigation into his death said that he's the architect of his, his own demise. What they're saying is that he killed himself. I still cannot get my head around how somebody can die in an orchard. <laughs>